Okay, guys. I finally got around to finding some time between this and that. And school and lots of work. Anyway. Finally, a real hacking video. Um, today's topic is passwords. Uh, as you can see, I'm on a virtual machine right now. Uh, I had this in my last video, how to get a virtual machine. I would suggest you guys get this, especially if you're going to try all this stuff out. Just a reminder that it is illegal to hack other people's passwords. Um, okay. Uh, another little friendly reminder. Uh, passwords are like underwear. You really should change it often. Don't lend it to friends and don't leave it lying around. Alright, well, how to hack other people's passwords. The first, I'm going to show you three methods. The first method, this is all for local computer machine, local passwords, okay? Um, this is not going to include Facebook or MySpace accounts. Well, I can do that. I'll do videos on that later. Right now, this is if you have the computer in front of you. If that you want to hack over it. Like if your family shares a computer, or if you're at school and you want to get into the administrator account of the computer that you're using for class. Anyway, uh, the simplest thing. Um, just to prove to you that I'm on one account, and I'm about to get, we're gonna. I'm gonna show you the one that we're gonna hack. This is called Hack Me. As you can see, it's gonna ask you for a password. And if I just type anything in there, hit enter. Oh, don't know it. Okay. So let's get on this one. Okay. Now, you go to start, actually no, I forget, Windows 7 is ghetto like this, it doesn't have the run right here. You can always hit Windows key R, comes up with run, tap in CMD, hit enter. There we go. Now. Let's make sure that user you're trying to hack is recognized. So make sure you got it right. The other user's name we're trying to hack right now is hack underscore me. Net user hack me. Or whatever, whoever you're going to hack. And as you can see, it gives you details on the, on the user. Now, you can type in net user hack me or whoever you're trying to hack and asterisk hit enter it'll ask you for a password uh, right now I'm gonna just leave it blank if you type something it's not gonna show up like right now I'm hitting the keys it's not showing up but it's still recognizing it so don't think that you got something wrong right now I'll just leave it blank oh access is nine well let's see when you starting with Vista and Windows 7 continued this, there's this little piece of crap thing called having to run things as administrator. So I think this might work just for if you're trying to hack a guest account, but I made the account we're trying to hack administrator account, which is usually what you run into. So let's pull up the Windows Explorer. Let's go to C Windows System 32. Let's find the CMD file that we tried before. Okay. Now scroll down. There it is. Now right click. Run as administrator. Yes, I won't allow it. Again, the gayness that is Vista and Windows 7 sometimes. Honestly, XP has been the best thing so far. Okay. So here we can do this. Net user hack underscore me asterisk. Have a password, leave it blank, and we'll leave it blank. Ah, there we go. Command is completed successfully. 
Now you can exit out of that. Exit out of that. Now, let me prove it to you. Start. Switch user. Hack me. Oh, doesn't ask for a password anymore because we made it blank. There you go. Now, second method. And this is my cool desktop, by the way. As you can see, I like Python. <laughs> anyway, second method. I'm going to show you this on my real computer. Second method is cane and able. Honestly, there are a bajillion uh, tutorials for cane and able on YouTube, so I'm not going to stress all this too much. Um, you go pull up cane enable go find it on the internet honestly it's not that hard pull up google type in cane enable download uh... there's this website called oxid uh... install it okay uh... go to decoders network sniffer cracker there we go cracker is the one we need uh... hit the little plus sign add list import hashes from local system next let it think for a little while Ah, uh, there it is. That's all the accounts that are on my computer. The one we're trying to hack is Gesto. Okay, so you right-click on it. There's three different kinds of attack. Dictionary, brute force, crypto analysis. Dictionary, uh, I'll show you right now. And uh, You go to dictionary, NTLM hashes. Okay. You gotta find a dictionary file, dictionary.txt on Google. Uh, Google it. Dictionary.txt, it's honestly like the first one. Uh, there's a Java site that has a very good dictionary file. What a dictionary file is, it's just a text file right here. It's the text file that has uh, just a bunch of words. Okay? And what Knable does is it looks through all those words. Uh, mind you, your dictionary file might look different than mine. Anyway, what Knable does is it looks through all those words and it tries all of them and it sees which ones work and which ones doesn't. So, uh, here, um, I forget, you guys are not going to have anything here if you've never done this before. So, you right click, add to list and here is where you search for your dictionary file. I already have one. I named it dictionary.txt. Uh, 